It's sure good to see all these Patriots out here today. I tell you, I think we've got the best lineup of speakers. We, this is our fifth one. I think it's the best lineup of speakers we've had. And let's look forward to a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, what is American exceptionalism? American exceptionalism is ordinary Americans doing extraordinary things. It does not mean we are better than people from other countries, but it means the way our country was set up with our freedoms and liberties, we were allowed to do the most, or make the most of ourselves and do the things we wanted to do and achieve the American dream. The first known person to write about American exceptionalism was a Frenchman in 1831 named Alex de Tocqueville. Tocqueville believed America's exceptionalism was a result of the American Revolution and a uniquely American ideology based on liberty, self-reliance, and a common person free from a ruling class, and private business free from over-regulation. He marveled at how our democracy infused into every nature of our society and culture at a time when it was not popular elsewhere in the world. Ironically, it was Soviet leader Joseph Stalin who first coined the phrase American exceptionalism, chastising members of the American Communist Party for believing that America was independent of the Marxist laws of history, thanks to its natural resources, industrial capacity, and absence of rigid distinctions. Recently, the London Times interviewed Barack Obama and they asked him what he thought about American exceptionalism Obama replied, I believe in American exceptionalism just as I suspect the British believe in British exceptionalism and the Greeks believe in Greek exceptionalism. Now how's that for patriotism, principles, and passion? Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, America is under attack, under attack by rules, regulations, taxes, and spending that is bankrupting our country. Recently, Steve Wynn, CEO of Wynn Enterprises in Las Vegas, said regulations were destroying the city. Bernie Marcus, CEO of Home Depot, said that the number one impediment to his business was the government. And he, could not start, he would not be able to start his business today as he did years ago. Speaking today, we have a radio talk show host and disc jockey a microbiologist, a state senator, an author, and an employer of 5,500 people, a caterer, a physical therapist, a medical doctor, a teacher and a realtor, a writer and a television pundit, a fireman and a farmer, and a decorated major general. Have I left any occupation out? Ladies and gentlemen, these people are the personification of American exceptionalism. And it's really exciting for me to have them with us here today. Anyway, with all that aside, I'd like to introduce Mr. Rick Roos, who's going to do the invocation for us starting today. Mr. Roos. Thanks, Rick. Everybody take your hats off and stand. Dear Heavenly Father, we come here before you the humbled people, a people that are trying to help bring our country back to the greatness that uh, we believe you would have us to be. It's only through your word and your way that we can come to any kind of understanding, let alone help pull our country back from the precipice that it seems like we're running toward. We have great many patriots here, patriots all that are in this audience. Bless them and keep them this day and always. And bless our president and our Congress and our different legislators. That way they may understand what would your, your way to be as far as governing us. Because it's through your providence that they are governing. Thank you for loving us. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now it's my pleasure to introduce 
Mr. Eric Shelton, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the national anthem, we've got something different this year. We've got Mr. Yakety Saxon himself, Dr. Michael Israel. Excellent, Michael. 